In the river zone of the Congo Basin, the little people live. They're among the oldest of our species. Chased into the jungle by later models, they learn to weave their existence into the fabric of the deep forest. Pygmy music is often described, but rarely heard. They themselves are hard to find. They become trees when they hear trouble. They shoot poison darts from their bamboo crossbows, and some of them have shotguns.
afternoon, sir. Cover. How would you? How would you? How would you? It turns out I'm not the first white man in these woods. They've heard of another, a doctor of music. Someone I know, it turns out. In fact, I have his book with me, and they recognize the rituals portrayed in it. They seem pleased that he met his doom among some other tribe and are eager to participate in mine. I described some of the techniques used by my predecessor, emphasizing the predictive motivation in his kinetic ritual exercises, which they are quick to grasp. In fact, they seem to know all about areas of his work that have always puzzled me. After some discussion, my companions all agree that the deceased doctor still does his strange dances at night, deep in the forest. My hosts seem to take for granted my ingestion of their native weed. Fortunately, my college education in California has prepared me for this trial. I do, however, notice a perceptual shift in my appreciation of their music. There's a hole where my head was.
I wake up again in a village that has moved on. Strange apparitions seem pretty normal in this jungle. It's my rhythm you've been dancing to all across Africa. The dance isn't over yet. Funny thing, my watch says 52 hours have passed, but I haven't seen a thing. I'm in the grip of something peculiar. In this obscure corner of the jungle, I feel a hint of danger. And Bio the hunter uses a shotgun and spear. It's a weapon he got from a Bantu down the jungle trail. I have a hunch a tiny elephant will be his lunch. Whatever was in that pipe has painted this jungle with whole new stripes. Hey!